Hi, my name is Laura. Thanks for joining me. And if you haven't joined me before, thanks for stopping by. So I am going to do a tutorial for you today on making a vest for the bunny from Dollar Tree. Um, we are going to make this cute little bunny, little bunny tail, little bushy butt. Um, so let's get started. All right, so is what I have here is a fat quarter. I cut this down to 10 and a half wide and four and a half inches tall. This is what I've got. Um, just a little plain piece of fabric. And is what I've done ahead of time is normally I sew it to but this time I cheated because <laughs> I thought this would be a much faster is I took some fusion fabric. I believe I got this at Walmart and in the uh, craft section and is what I did is I glued along the sides. And so I'm just going to do the last side to show you what I've done, how I did it. Um, if you want to cheat and you don't have a sewing machine, I figured this would work. <laughs> and it, it did. Um, so I'm just going to take a very thin amount of glue along the edge. Be sure you don't miss a spot, which I did here. <laughs> so I have it all along my edge right there at the end and I am just going to fold this over turn it this way and I just folded it over ever so slightly and just keep folding over <laughs> I think I need more glue over here if I can get it to come out just give a little squeeze anyways I hope this helps a lot of people. Um, you could use, um, what do you call it? There's something. Um, when you want to hem something, fabric tape or whatever it is, you could use that. I have it. I didn't want to get it out. Because um, I don't like that stuff. And I had this bottle, so I thought, well, Let's try it see what it does. And you're supposed to let it dry for two to four hours, but I'm using my iron <laughs> uh, instead because I'm impatient. But I got it all glued down here. See, just a nice little piece of fabric. And I am taking it and putting it in some parchment paper so it doesn't get my iron all sticky. And I'm just going right over this. Putting it down, letting it get hot, fusing it together. <laughs> So I have my nice little piece of fabric that I'm going to use for his vest and then I'm going to just put this away because I don't need that anymore. It's better than a hot glue gun, I think. So now to get it on the bunny, we pull his arms off. <laughs> 
very carefully because they are sewn, I think they're hot glued and I have ripped a couple of my arms, um, but you're gluing them back on anyways. And I forgot to get my hot glue gun going for that. So, all right, so his arms off on that side. Plug my glue gun in real quick and then take off the other side. Ooh, this came off actually pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so now he is an armless bunny. Oh no. All right, so we got his arms and I'm going to take his vest and I am just going to wrap him in it. So, um, you want to get it kind of by his neck, try and even it out so it looks decent, and just cross it over, just like this, and you got yourself a little vest. That's all I did. To make a vest. It's a little high on his arm. Oh, I forgot he needs a tail. <laughs> it's around somewhere. But then you just hot glue each piece. I'm just waiting for my glue gun to get hot. But see, he looks nice and neat. It's not fraying. It's not going to go anywhere. He has a nice nice vest. All right, so once you get his vest where you want it so it looks good and even, yeah, that works. You just can open him up, hot glue him down. Hot glue the corners is what I do. this little little tiny dab right here and I am just going to cross over and hold it there for a minute get the sticky off and then we can put a button on him as well so Lots of buttons. I could put this little blue button. I could put his blue button right here. Um, doesn't really stand out though. Let's see, what else could we use? I could use an orange one or a purple one. Purple is kind of cute. Nice big purple button. It's not bad. Yeah, it ain't bad at all. So I also found this little bow tie that I have. I could do a little bow tie. And then he could have a button. What do y'all think? Yes? Bow tie is pretty cute. It, these are actually um, barrettes from the Dollar Tree that they came out with in a pack of three. I'm going to use this, I think, for a snowman in my uh, some winter DIYs. Yeah, they're just barrettes. Super cute. Could do a black bow tie. Uh, not 
not sure. I mean, it it is cute, but it's so dark. And he is a springtime Easter bunny. So I think maybe the white bow would look really cute. So I think I will do putting his arms back on. So you just take any spot on the side, put some glue back on his arm. About, you know, that much. Find how you want the arm to be if you want him to hold something. And then just hold it there for a while. <laughs> yeah, for a little bit. So, hope you guys are having a nice weekend. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who's joined my channel. Help me build it. Hope you watch some of my other videos. I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. Um, so I'm just doing the same thing with his other arm. Just gluing it back on. So, okay, so that should be good. And I'm going to take this and I guess it's glued on. So, do I dare cut it off? <laughs> that bow might. I can glue it back together, right? I got a glue gun. Why not? Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just break the barrette. Oh, it's not coming undone. a pair of my clips here just pry this off yeah easier said than done because there's a spring in here all I want to do is get this out of here There we go. I'm getting it. <laughs> Whew. It's sharp now. <laughs> I got it off. Let's see if I can't bend it back here so it holds its shape. Okay. I am just going to super glue this on to my little boy bunny. All right. And then I'll use this purple button. glue that on. Mm, right about there. So just putting that button on. All right. So right now he's pretty much complete. Now is what I did with this hat is the, um, shamrock 
or St. Patrick's Day hat. Let me go grab that quick. All right, so what I used for his hat was one of these party hats um, for St. Patty's Day. I did not remove the glitter. I just took some crafter's paint. Um, I took some Waverly chalk paint. I painted it white first. And then I took some elephant uh, acrylic paint like this and I painted it gray about four coats total two white two gray um, so and then I just cut the holes out for his ears and just put it on top of his head and you want to just Kind of line it up um, when you're trying to find his ear and slice a very small hole in there and then just pull his ear through and do the same on the other side. Anyhow, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it is a little big on his head. Just a wee bit. <laughs> um, they sell hats over at Hobby Lobby in the uh, mini doll tree section um, that work really well. They're small little straw hats. And of course, while I was looking for the hat, um, I found the bow that I bought that I was going to use um, for his top, but I think it would have been too big. Let's just see, because I can't pull the white bow off now, but eh, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but it is a little bigger than I wanted, so whatever, we'll use it for something else. So for his hat, I thought I would use some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree with the little feet all over it and just put it right around the rim of the hat. I should have left it off, learn from my mistakes, decorate the hat first. Um, yeah, that's cute, right? Um, Oh, I got an idea. We will decorate this first, just to see how much ribbon I need. <laughs> what do you know? You know, learn, learn from your mistakes, I guess. So we'll just take and clip that off. And how to attach it going to be the fun part. So we're taking his ears off again. I have seen people take his ears off and then reattach them over the hats, but I didn't want to bother with that. So I'm just going to take a glue gun and run it along. And I think I'm just going to take a stick and kind of spread it out. Maybe <laughs> it's drying awfully quick. I don't just, I don't want clumps. Anyways, we'll just take it. Maybe it's not staying. <laughs> All right, so that's not working. Um, 
Yeah, that dries way too quick to hot glue it. So scrap that idea. So now what could I use? Let's try that again. Oh, I know. I just thought of something. So, <laughs> I have this double-sided tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. So, we are going to try this and see if that would work. I forget how I did the other one because uh, it's been probably like a month or so. Cut it a little short. Just a tad short. But this is how I craft, guys. Hope you're enjoying my video. <laughs> that is can get this apart now. This is so hard to get apart, let me tell you. All right, so got that taken off. Now to get it on here so it looks good. <laughs> was thinking of selling this bunny, but now I'm not so sure. This hat's not working like I'd hoped. It's really difficult, actually. got it on there <laughs> and it is wrinkled um, can you see it wrinkled it's not what I'm hoping for so I don't know I might have to think of something else but for now we have a dressed bunny <laughs> with the vest, which is what I wanted to show everybody. Um, you could glue a carrot in his hand if you'd like. You can glue an egg that he's holding on to. Um, Dollar Tree sells these little white buckets in the party section. You could fill them with eggs and have him hold on to those. Um, but for right now, this is Mr. Bunny. <laughs> I'm not sure about that hat, so not sure what I'm going to do with that. So to do the bunny tail, I have purchased one of these Dollar Tree keychains. It's just a fuzzy looking ball of fur, really. Um, so you just cut off the tag and the keychain holder. There goes the tag and cut that keychain holder off and <laughs> so we have this left. So all you do is take your hot glue gun, get plenty of glue on there because you want it to stay on for a while. Turn your little boy around and give him a big puffy tail. <laughs> I 
hold that there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, let's see here, just a second. So, yeah. Shake your ponytail. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little big. It's got a little big, big tail going on here for his little body. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's pretty cute. So I'm just going to lay him down, let that set up. But um, thank you so much for stopping by and sharing my video with me. I hope to see you soon. Please check out my other videos. Um, I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, as I said earlier, and um, I will start doing more videos. I did find an editing program. <laughs> Yay, me. <laughs> um, so have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by my channel tonight and crafting with me. Um, if you enjoyed my video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below to my channel. And I just want to thank everybody who has joined lately and watched my other bunny video. And I hope this was helpful. And I will see you next time. Have a great weekend.